Now, quick disclaimer, this is not a full-blown OBS tutorial, but I will be showing you my settings and how I set up my OBS. So if you wanna go ahead and skip to that, I'll have the timestamp right over there. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're here in front of the computers. Uh, I made a fresh scene, so that way I can show you pretty much how to do it from scratch. Uh, first things first, we're gonna check our video resolution. So we're gonna go to OBS preferences, go to video, uh, mine is set at 1920 by 1080. Um, you can set this to pretty much whatever you want to, but I highly recommend either 1920 by 1080, or you could drop down to 720 if you need to. But my default is set to 1080. Uh, my stream, I use Restream. Uh, basically, Restream allows me to stream to Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch all at the same time. So that's why I use Restream. Link to that website will be down below. It's free. Uh, for the output, I keep mine at 2500 kilobits per second i could probably go a little bit higher but since we're only streaming to social media uh that is fine this encoder section right here if you have a video card you will see another option um on here but since uh obs doesn't recognize my graphics card i do have a graphics card but since it doesn't recognize it that's what i have to choose but if you have a graphics card and it shows up go ahead and select that it might help you with your stream Audio bit rate, 160, that's standard, that's fine. And for audio, um, since this is a brand new setup, I know that my players are going into my built-in input. So this is where I'll put that in. All right, here's my advanced settings. I didn't really touch anything here. Uh, I just wanna make sure my rec space, my color space is uh, 709, rec 709. Shout out to all film and TV people in the building. And that's it for my settings so far, all right? Do I want to save changes? Yes, I do. All right, so here we have, you know, your main scene. Um, I like to rename them. Uh, for the newest version of OBS, sometimes it doesn't allow you to rename. So uh, the best thing to do is just um, create a new one. So I like to create a new one. Let's call it main. All right, and then I'll just delete the scene. Cause I like to name things. We have our main scene, uh, then we gotta add stuff to it. So think of this sources uh, box right here as Photoshop layers. If you ever dealt with Photoshop before, uh, whatever's on the bottom is gonna show up on the bottom, whatever's on top is gonna go on top of that, right? So our base layer should be, of course, our camera. So I'm going to put in a video capture device cause that's what it is. So you hit the plus button right over here, video capture device. And I always, like I said, always name your stuff so you can find it easier. So it's the Logitech, okay? And then your device should show up here. And then there you go, there's me. I don't like to use the presets since the presets only go up to 720. I'll take off the preset and change my resolution to 1920 by 1080. And then you do have to put in your frames per second. Uh, I like to do 24 because I'm in a school for film, so. I like to keep my stuff 24, right? Uh, you can keep it at 30, doesn't really change much. Um, but yeah, I like to keep mine at 24 frames per second. Cool, uh, all these other uh, stuff like that, I like to keep it at auto. Uh, like I said, I like Rec 709, so I keep my color space to Rec 709, and everything else I leave at auto. Video range, I'll do full, and hit okay. Right, obviously didn't fill up the whole screen, so this is where you can hit a short keyboard shortcut is command F to make it full screen. Next thing is to put up maybe your logo. So what you do for logos is you're adding an image and hopefully your logo is a PNG. If not, that's all right, but recommend getting your logo in a PNG format. So that way it doesn't show any background. So I'll just put logo. Right, I know where my logo is, so you just browse your computer and find your logo. Bam. Right, if it doesn't immediately pop up, that's because it's probably bigger than your scene. So, like I said, if you hit Command or Control F, boom, there it is. And then you can resize it how you want. I like to put mine on the top right. There. Uh, for those of you who want to add banners, 
Um, you can add, basically what it is, it's an image slideshow. So you hit the add or the plus button, you go ahead and hit image slideshow. Now I have a folder set up with all the banners that I want. So before every live stream, I would, you know, add or subtract from this selection here, but let's call this banners. And then again, uh, I like to set it to fade, automatic. Um, I don't know why they have the time in milliseconds, but that's how it's set. So that's, uh, I believe it's pretty close to uh, eight seconds, but um, somebody in the comments will correct me. Um, and transition speed, I'll change that to 1000. All right, you would want it to loop. Uh, this you could change if you want to, but I already formatted my banners to be 1080p. So now I just got to find my banners. Uh, I created my own banners. If you want a tutorial on how to create your own banners, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe. I'll even add a poll up there and uh, do a tutorial on how to make your own banners. Cool, cool. A quicker way to do this would be just to point this in a folder. Instead of uh, adding files, I'll add a directory and then just point it to wherever I have the folder of all my banners, hit open, and then boom. Now, it automatically resized, because like I said, I made my own banners, and I formatted it the way it is right here. And because it's an image slideshow, it's just gonna slide through and go in a loop. All right, now that I have my banners up, that's pretty much it. You can add more scenes if you want to. So I'll show you how to do that real quick, or how I like to set up my scenes. I like to add a scene for buffer, so before I go live, uh, there's something there just to make sure there's audio coming through. Um, if I need to go take a break, I have something to cut to. So basically you add another scene for that. So I like to call it either buffer or break and hit okay. Once again, I create my own screen. So I just open a Photoshop document, make it 1920 by 1080 pixels and then create from there. So I already created one. So all I'm gonna do is go to hit the plus sign, add image, and then we're gonna call this break. And then I know where it is. You search your computer. All right, boom. I formatted everything so it fits perfectly. Uh, but if you do have to resize anything, a quick tip is if you right click on your element, you have to hit your element first. Right click and then you hit transform. Yeah, so if you wanna transform, it'll, all, it'll have these handy tools, center to screen, center vertically, fit to screen. That's that command F shortcut I told you. And there you go. And there you go, there's my buffer screen. So when I, whenever I start the show, I always start off with this screen. I'll, let me show you in studio mode real quick. So I always start off in this screen before I go live. Um, so that way, once again, I can test out the audio, make sure it's coming through, send out my text blast, do whatever before I actually start DJing DJing. All right, and then when I'm ready, go to main, hit transition. Now I do have a, a tool, an app on my phone, it's called Stream Deck. And that allows me to control OBS through my phone. So if you want to set up your phone to change scenes, uh, you need an application called Stream Deck. And then basically you could configure how you want all your scenes uh, on your phone. So it shows up on the phone. Uh, this is the application where you set it up. And I believe you need one more application called OBS Link. Like I said, I'll have that link down in the description if you go to Streamlabs website. Uh, not stream like stream deck website or Elgato website um, They'll have all the apps you need over there, but for your phone You're gonna need the stream deck app once you get the app you'll have to sync it up with this uh, Application so there's a QR code here. So let's just say for example. I wanted to add Another phone. I'll add mobile device Scan the code with your phone with the app and then you'll be all set up Cool cool uh, the app works pretty seamlessly. Uh, basically how it works, it's it's using the same Wi-Fi. So as long as the computer you're using it with and the phone is on the same Wi-Fi, that's how you're able to communicate and switch scenes. But yeah, this is my basic setup. I usually take out studio mode, like I said, because I control OBS through my phone. So I'll just switch between scenes. I have something where I can add a video, so I'll show you that real quick. I can add another scene and call this showcase. I wanna showcase one of my videos. Now the video does have to be on your computer for it to play. So hit okay, hit add, and pay attention to what's here because you can add a lot of stuff 
uh, on here. So I'm gonna add a VLC video source, call it whatever it is. So I'll just say video. Save, yep. And same concept. Basically you wanna loop it. Um, you have a couple options here to pause when not visible, always play when it's not visible. If you put always play, it's gonna be running in the background. So you wanna put, you know, pause when visible, but unpause when visible. All right, and then I'm just gonna hit the add sign and add a video. Now, as you can see, the video is huge because this is a 4K video. So once again, make sure that the video is selected in the sources, right click, transform, and fit the screen. And there you go. Now I have three different scenes that I can switch between. All right, for those of you curious of how I do the chat, basically I add a browser so you're going to add a browser to the scenes i mean to the sources so say if i want to add the chat uh on this screen i'll hit add browser and call this chat now this is something very specific to restream so basically you'll copy paste your restream chat code on here so here i have the restream chat uh, application which you can download from the Restream website. And basically you'll go into your settings and go to embed and stream. And that's basically you're gonna copy this code right here and paste it into your OBS. Obviously you could change around and you know, where the comments come from, you could customize this how you want, uh, but that's basically how I do it. All right, so once you copy that, you paste it into your browser, you make your adjustments and height width and stuff like that, and then you hit okay, and then you'll be good to go. I'll show you, I'll switch back to my setup real quick. All right, so basically this is how my chat will come up. So if I hit my chat, you can see the bounding box that I have, it'll only show up right here. All right, so let's talk about Restream real quick. You do need to create an account with Restream, it's free, and download the Restream chat app, I should say, and we have this up. The cool thing I like about Restream is, yes, you can multi uh, upload to multiple uh, platforms at once. One thing that I do before I go on is change the title. So if, if I say tutorial, update all there you go everything will be titled tutorial uh go back to the dashboard i know a ton of youtubers say it do not give out your stream key if you do have if you do have a sleek out you could go ahead and reset your stream key if need be but this is basically all you need to see for restream usually when i stream this does not even need to be open i could just hit start stream and it'll automatically go to all the platforms i'm just showing this to you guys to to show you basically the basic setup the only time i open it really is just to change the title and then that's it i could close out of this web page and be good to go now the cool thing about the chat is that it would show you all the messages from facebook twitch and youtube all in one chat interface hence the reason why i like to put it up in the feed so that way i could see it and i don't have to have multiple windows open Another cool thing about the chat is that I can actually download the app for that computer and just switch real quick just to watch the comments close up as well as watch it on here. From here, you're pretty much basically set up. Um, the last thing you do after you set up your stuff is once again, make sure your stream key is correct. So you'll get that, you'll get your stream key from Facebook, Twitch, whatever platform you use. That's where you'll input it in. Uh, in my scenario, I like to use Restream, so my Restream key is there. And then from here, I literally just hit start streaming and I'm live. And there you go, there you have it. That's how I set up my OBS. Um, from here, I'll just switch scenes uh, with my phone every now and again and call that a day. Well, there you guys have it. That's my live stream setup tour. If you guys like the video, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer them all as well as the products that you see, I have links in the description, uh, as well as links to the software that I used uh, is also in the description. It's a gold mine down there, so make sure you check it out. Thank you again. See you guys in the next video. Later.